So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned three things. The first step says, the first step is فَعِذُوهُنَّ You admonish them, you warn them. وَاجِرُوهُنَّ You leave them in bed. وَاضْرِبُوهُنَّ The third thing is you strike them. But this person jumps to the third stage as soon as he feels that his wife is opposing him. And he forgets فَعِذُوهُنَّ وَاجِرُوهُنَّ and he forgets the correct interpretation of this ayah. And he thinks that by getting married to this lady, I have a license to treat her however I want. I have a license to beat her, to abandon her in her bed. And I have a license to treat her as my slave. That is completely wrong. And what is the, what is the purpose of the Dharbun Bayu Mubarakah? So that it doesn't hurt her physically, rather it hurts her dignity. It uh, targets her dignity. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, And as of those women from whom you fear their disloyalty, nushuz. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying that, إِلَّا أَن يَأْتِينَ Unless if they commit فَعْشَ مُبَيِّنَ Then you have, uh, you know, authority to go through these stages. Therefore, if a husband feels that his wife is cheating on him, and that's the rarest of the rare situation. So what are his options? And she has gone to the last stage in this deception. So what are the options? Imagine if there are Islamic laws in place. Then the first option is, if he has witnesses, of course he can report to the authorities. Those four witnesses will go to the court, will testify, and she will be punished. If that's the case. But in some situations, it happens that the husband sometimes sacrifices. Why? Because he has little children and he thinks that of course I can go to the court any time and seek for separation but what will happen to the children? You know their mother has to take care of them. The first stage is that if you really want to sacrifice and continue living with your, with your wife because of for whatever sake, for the sake of your children or for any, for any other reason Try to warn her, tell her not to do it again if you don't want to take the route, the legal route if she doesn't stop, leave them in bed. If that doesn't work out, take a miswak. Alright? And the purpose of making using a miswak is that so that she her, her dignity is hurt. And she realizes that I am making a, a, a big mistake. Darb doesn't mean that you start taking a whip and, and, and beating her. That's not permissible at all. If Hitting, beating wine was permissible as some modernists, liberals, orientalists, non-Muslims accuse. And they say that Islam allows because of this ayah domestic violence. If it was permissible, Rasulullah would have done it. It's not permissible, that's why Rasulullah didn't do it. It's, it